So when we look at this problem, we've got a situation where I've got a power being raised to another power, but then I also want to simplify, okay? So before I raise it to the fourth power, I'm going to go ahead and simplify what's inside the parentheses. Now, I could have raised all this to the fourth power and then simplified second, but I'm not going to do that. And so I've got in the parentheses, it's all to the fourth power, okay? And I've got 2 over 3. 2 over 3 won't simplify. But now let's look at moving x to the negative 2 where? On the bottom. When you move it to the bottom, it'll make that negative 2 a positive. So on bottom, the x is positive exponent, so we're just going to leave it on bottom, x. And then I'm going to move this x to the negative 2 on bottom, so I'll have times x squared, right? And then I'm going to move this y to the negative 4 to the what? Top, so I've got y to the fourth on top. When I moved it from down here to up here, it made the exponent go from negative to what? And then this y cubed's already on top, so I'm going to put y cubed right there. Okay. Now let's keep simplifying what's inside the parentheses. And so I've got 2 over 3, and you can see that y to the fourth times y cubed is what? y to the, when you multiply like bases, when you multiply like bases, what do you do with their exponents? Add, so it's going to be y to the seventh over x to the what? What's this, the exponent to this x right here? One, and what's this exponent? So I just do one plus two is x to the third. Okay, and so I've simplified it all the way inside the parentheses, and now I need to raise it all to the fourth power, don't I? Okay, so let's raise it all to the fourth power. Are we ready? So 2 to the fourth power is what? It's 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16, right? So I've got 16, and then I have y to the seventh being raised to the fourth power, right? Now, y to the seventh raised to the fourth power is called a power to a what? Power. And so that's going to be y to the what power? 28. Remember we said power to a power you what? Multiply. Okay. Now I need to take the 3 and raise it to the fourth power. That's 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3, which is 27, times 3 again I think is 81. So on bottom I have 81. And then this x cubed being raised to the fourth power, I have a power to a power, so I multiply, so it's going to be x to what power? To the twelfth power. All right, so let's finish this up. What we need to do to finish it up is, is see if 16 over 81 will reduce. 4 goes into 16, but does 4 go into 81? No. So can you get them to reduce in any way? So this right here is your final answer. This is the most reduced. Okay, now let's talk about what we did. We made all the exponents here positive, didn't we? So we took this x to the negative 2 and we moved it on bottom, right? And we took this y to the negative 4 and we moved it on top, didn't we? And then we multiplied y to the 4th times y to the 3rd and we got y to the 7th, right? And x times x squared gave us x cubed, right? And then we took everything here and raised it to the fourth power, and this was our result. So when it asks us to simplify, <clears throat> before I can multiply this by this, I have to first do what with them? I've got to square them both. So I've got to take everything in here and square it, and I've got to take everything in this first parentheses and square it. But now before I even square it, I need to simplify what's inside the parentheses. Okay, now here's what I mean by that. 3 over 4 won't simplify, so I'm going to go ahead and write 3 over 4. And I'm going to take this m to the negative 5 and move it to the bottom to make it what? Positive. So I've got m to the 5th on bottom. And I'm going to take this m to the negative 2 and move it to the top, m squared. Now, the m to the 2nd divided by the end of the zero, what is two minus zero? Two, so that's gonna be n squared on top, isn't it? And that's all squared. And let's simplify it one more step. Okay, I have m squared divided by m to the fifth. So I'm gonna do 
5 minus 2, which is? 3. Now, my m cubed, does it go on top or bottom? Bottom. bottom. So I've got 3 over 4. And then on bottom, I have m cubed. And on top, I have n squared. And then I'm going to square it. See how I simplified everything inside the parentheses before I'm squaring it? So now let's go ahead and square everything inside. Okay? 3 squared is? 9. And look, n squared squared, that's called a power to a power, so that you multiply the exponents, it'll be n to the 4. Right? 4 squared is what? 16, that means 4 times 4. And then I have m cubed being squared. That's another power to a power, so I multiply the exponents. So it would be m to the what power? 6. Six. Okay. So that's, that's the first one simplified. Now let's simplify the second one. Okay. And so on the second one, there's nothing inside the parentheses to simplify. All the exponents are positive. Okay, but I can do n to the 4th divided by n, right? That n there, what's the exponent understood to be on that n? One. To the 1st. And so I've got m, and then this 4 minus this 1 is what? Three. So I'll put n to the 3rd over 9, right? Because 4 minus 1 was 3, and then you see that the exponent on top is bigger than the exponent on bottom, so my end of the third goes on top because that's where the biggest exponent is. And it's all being what? Multiplied. Squared. So now let's square it. M squared. And then I have N cubed being squared. A power to a power, you what? Multiply. So that'd be N to the sixth six power. And then the nine squared is? 81. 81. And so now what I need to do is I need to multiply these two, don't I? Okay, so on top, my coefficient's understood to be 1, isn't it? So I'm going to multiply them and put my result in red, okay? And there may be some simplifying to do once we multiply it. 9 times 1 is? 9. There's nothing to multiply the n, m by on top, so I'm going to just write m squared. And then n to the 4th times n to the 6th is n to the 10th. Tenth. Tenth. Remember, when you multiply like bases, you do what with their exponents? Add them. Add them. And then I'm going to divide by, that's everything on top, 16 times 81. What is that? I've got 1,296. And then m to the 6th has nothing to multiply by, so I'll write m to the 6th. Okay, so now our last step I'm going to write right here in black, okay? And so first thing I need to do is see will 9 over 1,296 reduce. So it reduces to 1 over 144. So on top I'm going to write 1, and on bottom I'm going to write 144. Okay, that was this simplified right there. You following me so far? Yes. Now, m squared divided by m to the 6th, Okay, you've got 6 minus 2, which is? 4. 4. Does the m to the 4th go on top or on bottom? bottom? So I've got m to the 4th on bottom, and the reason it went on bottom was because the larger exponent's on bottom, so your result goes on bottom. And there's nothing to divide the m to the 10th by, so I'll just write m to the 10th on top. And so there's your answer. This is your final answer right there. And you don't need those outside parentheses. In other words, you could erase these outside parentheses right here if you wanted to.